tree looks so pretty. Still smells good. Oh, it's been a wonderful Christmas, you know, seeing our daughter so happy. There's a lot more happiness where that comes from. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, what? excuse me. I just want to get the papers on the Collingwood presentation. Oh. Wish me luck. I'm sure you'll swing it. Well, I'll wish you luck. I'll, uh, see you before you leave. Oh, I'm sure you will, yes. Well, later then. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm going to start packing. Oh, wait a minute, Daisy. Oh. Wait a minute. You know, you haven't answered the question that I asked you yesterday. I know I haven't. Come on, there's so much going on around here. Daisy, you're not wearing the ring. It wasn't just a Christmas whim. I really want you to marry me. Palmer. Oh, my goodness, so close in. Oh, I'm, I'm oh. sorry. Um, <laughs> I was just looking for Myra. I, do you know where she is? Christmas could last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Well, memories do. And it was a fun Christmas in spite of the don't, fact that... Don't, don't, don't. Well, even admit, say it. Tad, this was not exactly a marvelous kind of year for either one of us. Yesterday, I just, I seemed to forget about everything. And it, everything was so warm and, and special. And it just seems kind of sad when it's all over, you know? Well, not for me. As far as I'm concerned, last year was a disaster. Which is why I hope 1987 is uh, a lot better. Yeah, who knows? You know what? Could be the best year ever. Yeah, well, I'm certainly going to give it my best shot. <clears throat> That's why I uh, stopped by. I wanted to say goodbye. I'm leaving town, Robbie. me back is the nicest Christmas present I could have ever got. <laughs> oh, well, be a little bit more quiet about it, will you? My head's splitting and you're gonna break it wide open. Oh, you poor thing. I'll be as quiet as a little mouse, okay? think you're doing here. Mark? Mark, what are you doing? Why aren't you dressed? Morelli's waiting for us. You know, I don't feel very well. I think maybe tomorrow might be better. No. It has to be today, Mark. You promised. Erica, you know what they'll do to me in prison? You won't go to prison. You, you killed Earl in self-defense. Yeah, but how am I going to prove that? Because I'm going to get you the best lawyer there is. Now, trust me, Mark. Mark, I will do everything I can possibly do, but you cannot be running all the time. Now, this is it. You promised today. It's got to be today. speaking. Yes, Lieutenant. Hello, this is Erica Kane speaking. Lieutenant, please come to my mother's home immediately. Mark is here. And Mark is ready to turn himself in. Well, I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Well, I'll 
look after him for you. Oh, I'd hate to impose. No, no, you're not imposing. I mean, I'm a little rusty where these little guys are concerned, but we'll make that okay. Hey, Timothy, what do you think? Well, I'm really quite grateful. If, if you don't fine. mind, I promise I'll, I'll make this as quick as I can. That's okay. We'll be good. What do you, does he need to eat or anything? Like, have a bottle? Well, uh, Whoa. God bless, bless you, sweetie. Bless you, baby. Uh, his bottle's in the fridge. just needs to be warmed up a little before. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry about a thing. We'll be okay. I'm sure we will. Well, all right. Now, listen, honey bunny. You'll be good for Daisy. Mommy will be back real soon. Okay. I do appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Say goodbye to Mom. Say goodbye. Bye. You're gonna wait? There she goes. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Sweet. Now, can Wait. we get back to the discussion, hey. Daisy? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course we can, Mom. But I think Timothy and I should go out to the... Oh, look, he's playing with my necklace. Daisy, We're gonna, I'm going to get his I mean, bottle. Daisy, I'll be back as soon as I Daisy. see Daisy. Go ahead. You can play with it when we get... Why shouldn't I be here? This is my house. Oh, yeah. I heard all about you cheating Erica from buying back her own house. Erica didn't have any money. She buy. had the money from the sale of her New York co-op. <sighs> Look, I offered to sell it back to her, all right? Come to think of it, madam. How strange is it suddenly you have that kind of money to buy this kind of house? I squirreled it away. The hell you did. Always spent your money as fast as you could get it. Hey, listen, I didn't use peanut shells to buy this place, pal. It is so strange, you know, that's all the money in the world that Erica Kane ever had suddenly it disappears and you suddenly can afford this house. Are you accusing me of something? Damn right, I am accusing you. You bought this place with Erica's money. You stole it from her. I bought this place with the money that Erica gave me for my Tempo articles. Matt, she never paid you that much. Well, I got lucky, pal. I upped the ante in a high-stakes poker game. <laughs> you don't expect me to believe that, do you? You know something? I don't care what you believe. You bought this place with Erica's money. I'm going to prove it if this is the last thing I do. Hey, why don't you go over to Erica and tell her about your hallucinations? Maybe she'll believe you, huh? Maybe I will. She wouldn't let you in. Get a grip on it, hockey puck. Why be a hero to a woman who hates your guts? There's no future in it, buddy boy. <laughs> bad happened to you. And anyway, you killed him in self-defense, and we are going to find a way to prove that. Erica, I'm not going to last in there. I will either die or I'll get killed. Mark, you're killing yourself as it is. You're on drugs. I'm not on drugs. I told you that in New York. You told me a lot of things in New York, Mark. And a lot has happened since then. I'm telling you the truth now, okay? Okay. And you have got to turn yourself in now. You cannot keep hiding out like this. Mark, come on. Go on upstairs and get dressed. Borelli's on his way. Do it. Oh, hi. Hi. Look, I thought that... You and Mark would be at the police by now. No, Mark's upstairs dressing. Borelli's coming here. Well, didn't Mark want to go? He's afraid, Mother. He's so afraid. I had to call the police. I just had to call the police. I, you know, for the first time in my life, Mother, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Honey, it's the only thing you can do. Well, I'll stand by Mark. I told him that. But you know, Mom, turning in my own brother. You're doing it, sweetheart, for his own good. And listen, if it'll be any help to you at all, I'll stay here. I'll be glad to be here when the police come. Thanks, that's wonderful. Well, I know that I'm doing the only thing I can do. But you think how much worse it would be if you were worrying about him being out there, being hunted. Well, of course. Come on, let's go in the kitchen. <laughs> Put away these groceries. We keep busy, it'll make everything easier. You can help. Well, me. I just want it to be over. That's all I want. I want it, it over soon and finish. Soon, soon, it'll it'll be be over. soon enough. Mm. 
now. You mean right now, today? As soon as I'm finished packing, it's California, here I come. Why California? Why not California? Why would you want to go there? Ted, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there, do you? Sure, there's nothing left for me here. Uh, my marriage is over. Do you know how many times you've told me that? This time I'm serious. I'm going. And look, I'll, I'll always love her, and whether she believes it or not, she's always going to love me. But the truth of the matter is, she's just destined to be a dream I always chased that I just couldn't have. Sounds like me with Greg. Yeah, they have a lot in common. We're cursed with good taste. We go after terrific people. Except we don't live up to their expectations. Maybe they just can't keep up with us. <laughs> you know, I always thought that I could um, be something special, make a success out of something. I guess I just can't do it here. You're not kidding? No. Here. Oh, I miss you an awful lot. Okay, come on. Come on. Dad, you are so special to me. You've always believed in me and had faith in me. You are the one who cared. Well, it's easy to do. After all, you always believed in me, right? You always, you were always straight with me, and that, that's important. That matters a lot. But you don't need to just go packing up and running off. You need to think about it. Just tell me that you're confused, I'm and going. you're going to think about it. I'm going. But there's nothing says that you can't come with me. No, I can't. I would just be a lead weight. No, you dreading. wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Listen to me. Well, don't do that. Any guy in the world would be blessed to have you as a friend, confidant, companion. The only problem is you never take the time out to realize just how wonderful you really are. That is probably just about the most wonderful thing you've ever said to me. But I, I can't. I, I can't. What's keeping you here? It's, it's just not the right time. It's just not. I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe one day I can show up out there and surprise you. I'd like that. I wish you luck, Dad. Same to you. We're going to keep in touch. Oh, yeah. I... I'm not going to say goodbye. We, we hate that word. How about later? Yeah, later. Later. Dressing. He'll be down in a minute. Uh-huh. May I get you something? Coffee? No, no, thank you. Nothing at all. Where is your brother? He's upstairs. He'll be right down. As I said, you know what I want to tell you. The thing is that 
You know that Mark is basically such a really good person. Mm -hmm. He just has made a few mistakes. Miss Kane, your brother's got some pretty big problems right now. But he's turning himself in. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about a murder charge. Not murder. It was self-defense. Mm -hmm. Mark's not there. Not there? No, he's not anywhere upstairs. What was he doing up there? Huh? He was getting dressed. Uh-huh. Oh, how stupid of me. I totally forgot. He told me he had to go out and run some last-minute errands. But he said he'd be back here in time for you to meet you. He should come home any minute. Remember, Mother? Remember he said that he had run out of shaving cream and razors and that he'd be back here? He wanted to be presentable for the lieutenant? Oh, yes, yes, I do remember hey, hey, that. Hey, save it to both of you. I'm not buying. Well, it's true. He was in the shelter. You can check that. He didn't shave in days. You know, it sounds to me like Mr. Dalton changed his mind about turning himself in. No, he wouldn't do that. Uh-huh. However, Lieutenant, if you don't choose to wait for him, I'd be happy to bring him down to you, to the police station later. Okay. I give you one hour. After that, I put out an APB. Well, that's totally unnecessary. He'll be back. I will see. Lieutenant Borelli, you're not going to hold this little delay against him, are you? I'm not making any promises, Miss Kane. And even if he does turn himself in, there's still no corroboration that he killed Foster in self-defense. Lieutenant, it is a well-known fact that Earl Foster was hunting for my brother for months with the intention to kill him. I mean, well, isn't that enough? Substantiation, Miss Kane. Substantiation. You know something, Lieutenant? Mm -hmm. My brother had every right to be in the hospital that night. He came there to see me. Earl Foster had no reason to be in the hospital that night other than to ambush Mark. Nobody is paying any attention to that. As a matter of fact, I intend to sue the hospital for their appalling lack of, of security at my room and in the garage. I mean, there was no security in the garage at all. And it is a totally dark and isolated place. Okay, I'll look into it. In the meantime, when and if your brother shows up, get him down to headquarters on the double, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. What am I going to do? I can't find him in an hour. I don't know where he went. He could have gone anywhere. I don't even know who to call. I don't know where he is. Why, why didn't you call, call Ellen? Yes, Ellen, that's a good idea. He's probably, well, she might... There he is. He forgot. Okay. You. You expecting somebody else? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. There you are, Mrs. Hunter. Oh. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Having a little something to put my savings account finally has already made it a nice day. <laughs> I know what you mean. What? Let go of me. Let go of me. Adam wants to know if you enjoy your Christmas gift. What Christmas gift? Well, since yesterday was a day of giving, he gave you an extra day to get the key. Now, where is it? Um, I need more time. Uh, there is no more time. Please, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Just listen. You're to be in the alley around the corner from the rendezvous tonight at midnight. You bring an impression of the key. You got it? Yes. Got it? Yes, yes. Midnight. Good. enough time to clean out the entire refrigerator. Well, you know, you must should get those doors fixed. He's a big eater. Has he been put away? <laughs> yes, Good. Mama's got him. I'm all yours. Oh, would that that were true. Now, Daisy, you have deliberately avoided answering the question I asked you yesterday. I love you, Daisy. Really. I'll, I'll never love anybody else. Oh, PC, come on. Never say never. I know that we've had a rather tempestuous relationship, but you won't believe I really have mellowed out quite a bit. 
No, you haven't. Why are you being so coy, Dave? You know, you couldn't possibly have what we've had before, could you? It would be very hard to do it. It would be impossible. And you have to admit that you've been happy here since you've come back. We've, we've shared Nina's happiness. Yes, I told you. It's all been wonderful, seeing how our daughter is so radiantly happy. Well, haven't you noticed how radiant I've been? Daisy, really, I promise I will behave. I'll even make it a part of the marriage ceremony. I pro I'll get down on my knees if I have no, to. You will. Look, Power. I'll never get up again. Get back I in the wheelchair. Power, I can't manage this. All right, then, would you, right, you, then, would you I say yes, know. please? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I am sorry to interrupt. Uh, there's somebody here to see you, Daisy. It's uh, Ramon. Uh, 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 is, uh, Ramon? I couldn't stay away from you for one more minute, my dearest Daisy. Oh. My children will continue in a moment. Life has been nothing without it. Oh, now, don't exaggerate. Oh, no, the sun does not shine, the moon does not rise. You look exquisite. Thank you. My blood is flowing again. My heart is raising. Uh, <laughs> oh, down, Ramon. I want to introduce you to. Uh... No need. This is your charming ex-husband. A pleasure, Senor Copeland. Palmer, this is uh, Ramon Zarita, uh, someone who I met in Paris. Paris? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I thought something funny was going on in and Paris. Ramon, I this really, is when my I said... mother, my We response. have already met a most gracious lady, Senora. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> Ramon's a rancher, Mama. I'm sure you've heard of the Zarita Ranch in Brazil. Never. It's the biggest, if not the biggest, in that country. Mm, you are so kind. And I do apologize for arriving unannounced, but I'm afraid oh. I was unable to control my emotions. I hope I did not disturb your house. No, of course not. You're, you're more than welcome. I bet Mama would love it if you stayed for one of her lunches. I should be delighted uh. if Sir Joe Cotland approves. Palmer? Do I have a choice? Oh, well, wonderful. That's settled. Good. You know, I think maybe Ramon and I ought to be alone for a minute. Can we use your office down the hall? That's my private massage room, Daisy. Oh, well, whatever it is, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Thanks, Mama. Come this way, Ramon. Oh, no, she's so impetuous. <laughs> well, you can leave your coat in here, too. Oh. Charming man, isn't he? What the hell is your daughter up to, Mara? Last. Ramon. <laughs> You're not angry with me, are you? Oh. I had to come. I miss you so. And the longer you stayed here, the more afraid I became. I was afraid I would lose you. Oh, that's silly. No. I saw the way your ex-husband looked at you. Oh. He's still in love. He wants you back. He has asked you to remarry him, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he has. Daisy, you are my life. Don't let anything keep us apart. Don't. I don't have time for you, Matt. It's Mark, isn't it? He's turned up somewhere. What makes you say that? What's he done now? He turned up here on Christmas Eve. I talked him into turning himself in. And now he's disappeared somewhere. Typical. Look, I've got to find him and I don't know where he is. I have less than an hour to get him down to Borelli's office or else they're going to issue a, a, an arrest warrant for him and an APB. I'll find him. Where? Look, Pine Belly's a small place. There's not a lot of places he can go to get a fix. He's not on drugs, Matt. Oh, Erica, come on. We both know the truth. He's coming down. He needs a hit. No, he's just afraid. He's afraid to go to jail. Of course he is. You'd be, too, if you were hooked on this stuff. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get in jail. Now, look. Let's quit fooling around. You want me to find him or not? Well, of course I do. I'd be grateful to you if you did. All right, you keep that appointment with Borelli. I'll bring him with me. In, in less than an hour? For you, I can almost do anything. Good, huh? <laughs> Saved my bloody life. <laughs> so you should have come here in the first place. 
I didn't know you'd be here. Where else am I going to be? I gotta go. Oh, man. You... You aren't really gonna turn yourself in. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mark, use your head. Eric will bail me out. <laughs> with what? I don't know with what. She'll find something. I wouldn't bet on it. Why don't you come to New York with me? Huh? I mean, we could even do London, man. We could go to Paris, Rio, anywhere we want in the world. With the money, we'll be making all that stuff in. I can't. Mark, I'm talking about the good life here. I mean, you and me, we're a team, and we're a good one. I mean, we'll, we'll clean up out there, and life, it's gonna, it's gonna be like one big party. It's, it's gonna be a party, man. It's the only way to go. I can't. If I don't try now, I'm, I'm finished. Says who? Says me. Winding up in a men's shelter on Christmas Eve. Stealing from my sister. No money. I gotta clean up. Hey, Mark, man, you are dreaming, baby. You, you can't make it. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna come down, and then you're gonna get that feeling. You know that feeling, that one where your insides feel like somebody's twisting them into a knot. You can't do it any more than I can. And anyway, huh? <laughs> Why should we, man? <laughs> World's out there. It's ours for the taking. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this, Mark. You and me, that's all we need. The rest of them we don't need. We can do anything, man, as long as we're a team. Hello? Ma? I'm in here, darling. Hi. Where is everybody? This place is like a morgue. Well, your father is at the hospital. Charlie is um, at the library. Uh, Jeff is running errands. And Joey's got a hot date. Yeah, just about. He and Michael are testing their new sleds. And you know, I just got finished scrubbing that icky roasting pan from Christmas dinner. Terrific. Here I am, moving to California. I'm leaving, leaving town. I'm getting on a plane. There's nobody here to say goodbye to me. It's just terrific. I don't know. I'm sure they're all going to be back before yeah, it's time well, I, for you to leave I for the airport. I wouldn't want to put anybody out, that's for sure. Oh, now you come on and stop pouting. Come on, come on, give me a hug. Come on. <laughs> Did you see Robin? Yeah. We talked and we said goodbye. I guess the only thing left for me to do now is pack. Well, can I help? You that anxious to see me go? Oh, honey, you know how much I'm going to miss you. We're all going to miss you. I miss you, too. I miss this whole place. This house. Maybe I shouldn't go. Well, that, of course, is up to you. Oh, my, I feel like... I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I haven't got a job or right? nothing. I mean... All of a sudden, I feel like I'm blowing up my bridges behind me. Sweetheart. <laughs> Listen, this will always be your home. Yeah, just a heartbeat away, right? That's right, a heartbeat away. Truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Do you? I feel like I need a new start. I feel like I need to do something different. I've got to go somewhere where there's nobody else to depend on but me. You know, after all this time, I feel like Dad was right. I feel like I've got to grow up. Well, if it means anything to you, I've never been prouder of you than I have during these last two days. It means a lot. Do you think I can do it? Oh, come on, nothing's impossible. 
If you know what you want and you're willing to work for it, it's the law of averages. You have to win sometime. <laughs> then why do I feel like such an amazing loser? Well, I think that you could answer that better than I could. I wish... I wish I could be like Dad. I wish I could be like you. I wish I could be like Charlie. <laughs> Somebody that could just automatically do the right thing. Oh, listen to me, honey. I have... I have made mistakes. I made a lot of them. I really shudder to think about them. But if we can learn from those mistakes, if we can find the things in ourselves that we can be proud of and care enough to cherish and protect those things, and most of all, if we can forgive our mistakes by understanding them and accepting the reasons that we made them in the first place, then all is right with our world. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. As the man said, there is much to be done and much that can be done. And I have always had faith in you. I'll keep the faith. I'm not worried. Uh, I gotta go pack. Uh, planes are funny things, you know, if, you, uh, if you're not armed, they, they kind of take off with that. <laughs> Listen, um, call me if you need me. I'll always need you. Oh, Myra, thank you, although I, I do hate taking advantage of you like this. Oh, you take advantage of me any time you like. That child is a love. Ross, you are home early. Hi. Yeah, the meeting went just as I hoped it would. It was short and it was sweet. Whose car is that out in the driveway? A uh, friend of Daisy's, uh, Raymond Zarita. Zarita? Mm. A Brazilian millionaire, right? Yeah, well, he's a millionaire, I'm sure, and I think he's a Brazilian, and I'm afraid he's rather a special friend of Daisy's. You mean a romance? I certainly hope not. They're uh, in Palmer's office talking. Well, where's Palmer? I don't know. He's around here someplace moping. Oh, Palmer was hoping so much for a reconciliation with Daisy, and so was I. Now we find there's another man in her life, and it's quite a shock. Oh, I imagine so. Yes, well, I don't have the time to follow the score of the up and downs of Palmer's love life. I'm hungry. Where's lunch? I'll tell you the truth, I don't know what to do about lunch. Uh, Daisy invited this Ramon to lunch, and I'm not sure he's going to stay or not. Yeah, well, that can take forever. Why don't we just get something to eat right now? What do you say? Well, all right, Come I won't on. let you Come starve on. to death. Come out in the something, kitchen, I'll find you. Nothing's ever dull around here. I don't. I'm, I was looking for some papers for him. Oh, well, don't let me disturb me. I've just got to find him. No, that's okay. They're not here. Are you sure uh, you're all right? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Um, I've just got to find Palmer. Well, find out what's coming down and get back to me. Where's your brother? Isn't he here yet? Do you see him anywhere? Well, he said that he was going to meet me here. I'm sure he'll be along any minute. Well, he's got about two minutes left. Now, you just see. No, really, I, I would rather stand. So, Janet Borelli, I've done the best I could do. Excuse me. Yes. Ah, good. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Yes. What are you doing? 
doing here? Well, Borelli asked me to come in. What are you doing here? I waited for Mark. Mark? Yes, I had talked him into turning himself in. He was going to do it today. You know, for killing Earl in self-defense, and now he seems to have disappeared. Does that surprise you? I don't need any rude remarks from you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, couldn't find him. Oh. What's going on? What is he doing here? Take it easy, take it easy. Why did you ask Jeremy to come down here? All in good time, Miss Kane, all in good time. Mark! Oh, Mark! Huh. Thank heavens you're here! You see, I told you he'd come and he did. Let's He's see. not a murderer. This proves it. Mm -hmm. And now if we'll all settle down, we're about to find out what really happened in the hospital garage that night. What are you talking about? You all know what this is, I'm sure. So, what about? Well, the hospital was testing a new hidden camera, a camera surveillance system in the garage. The people I originally questioned didn't even know it was set up. When you mentioned security, Miss Kane, I double-checked, came up lucky. And? 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 It's all about to see it right now. And then we're going to find out whether your brother did or did not kill our forced in self-defense. Some goodbye, taking off to the airport. There's nobody around to say so long. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> hey, dude, ready to uh, kick back in the West Coast? We are. Trying to sneak out of this, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think we were going to let you get away without a goodbye toast, did you? I thought you might. Yeah, here, yeah, open it, open it. Open it, oh, wow, look at this. This is the... Uh, the Lux model here, whatever it is. Who wrapped this, huh? <laughs> Himself, of course, with his own little hands. Right. This. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. This here, okay. <laughs> what do you think, Joey, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do I look dangerous? <laughs> you look silly, can you see? <laughs> Not really, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll find some gorgeous California blonde to help me across the street. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> so, uh... Try these on for size. Oh, <laughs> they're wrapping something here. You tell Elsie really splurged on this, did you, Jeffrey? Well, you know, this is safe, right? It's not going to explode. No, no, it won't explode. Just what I need for my cabin crew. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is definitely you. Ta da! Hey, hey, hey. The Swinger's Guide to the West Coast. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Charles, there is definitely more to you than meets the eye, old buddy. Hey, what can I say? No, no, you can give me your hand-me-downs, Tom. No, that'll take years and years. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> and there's one other thing. Uh, this is from your mother and me to uh, help tide you over until you reach mogul status. And there is love in every penny of it. I don't believe it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Yeah, Dan. Mm -hmm. Don't say it. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck. You know that. Yeah. Better get going. Gotta get going. That plane's not gonna wait. Oh, are you kidding? Uh, pretty soon he's gonna have his own jet to uh, go back and forth with. I'm gonna miss you, kiddo. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. We're all going to miss you. And son, you know, your home will always be here for you. You know that. Sure. Thanks, Dad. Let's go. Uh, I love you. I love you all. Thanks for everything. Your friend. Oh, Jasper, uh, 
Took him down to the stables. You know, he's an avid fan of thoroughbreds. Mm -hmm. He's obviously an avid fan of yours. Well, we're, uh, we're close. Daisy, I asked you to marry me. I can't. Why not, Daisy? I know you love me. Yeah, I do. I love you. And everything we've ever had was thrilling. So, we can have it. No, again. no. We can't. Why not, Daisy? No. I'm a good shoot. Are you going to really run off with that man? Shut Are you going to leave all of this here? Shut up for just a minute. I'm trying to tell you that you are probably the most important person in my whole life and that I will never stop caring about you. And that doesn't mean I can go back. we got to go forward. You're living with a lot of memories that really belong in the past, and it was really a lovely past. But our lives are real different now. Man's turned your head. Daisy, he can't possibly give you what we've had here. And you're going to realize that someday. Yeah, maybe. I know that... you are the great love of my life. But we can't recapture that. And you gotta let me go. All right, Daisy. You go. The ring stays. Hmm. Daisy, the ring. Daisy, I'll just keep it for you. This isn't any help, it's just a garage. The camera's in the wrong spot. Wait a minute, there we are. Now you can see us. Boss is already dead, that doesn't mean he was killed in self-defense. Hold it. Look at that car. So, there was an eyewitness after all. I'm Kathy Michaelby. How can you enjoy 21 hours of terrific entertainment while helping people with cerebral palsy? Simple. Join Lee Dreyfus and me.